All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I recorded a bunch of files on an SD card video projects and they're corrupted and it won't back them up and I'm going to show you that right now. So I copied that. I'm going to go to my destination and hit paste and see it says it can't do it because it's uh, corrupted or unreadable. Okay, so I'm going to cancel and I'm going to delete that. Because it's just a folder. Okay. So, not getting anywhere with that. Let's go back to the drive here. Okay, so we're going to open our Stellar Data Recovery. I, mean, I did not expect this to happen. The thing is, is that um, it did happen because I filled this 128 gigabyte SD card completely full uh, with 4K video. And it stopped recording because it got full. I was trying to record Pastor Sermon today. It got full. I came home to try to back up these files so I could erase it and clear up some more space or something, or at least back it up. And uh, problems. So, all we're looking for is video files here today. So, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and say everything. Next. The E drive is the one we want to scan. So, we're going to do a quick scan and it will probably find... The files doing the quick scan and then hopefully we can just back them up okay so we have got this we did the quick scan it says 51 files found 21 folders 118 95 gigabytes of data recoverable okay i don't want the deleted files okay i don't want the deleted ones i just want the ones that we can see where's where are we at here okay so is it 154 through 160 so let's go back to tree view we're going to uncheck these ones that we don't need so we're going to hit recover and again i didn't do the deep scan or anything yet so we'll see if this will just work just select the destination and i'm going to select the destination i'm recording this video to so i probably should stop the video um and see if this will recover so we're going to go to here and we're going to go to where's it at um, number one, hit select folder, and I'm going to turn this off and hit start saving and we'll see what happens. Alright, so it finished recovering the video files and I'm actually very happy, but so let's just go up here. So this is the SD card, okay? And if I hit open with the VLC player, and this could be hard because I'm, see, it says could not read the file, bad descriptor. Okay, so close. And if I go down here, I can read it, but I don't know how this is going to be because I am currently recording to this same device, this external hard drive that I'm going to be playing off of. So we'll go ahead and hit play with VLC. And there it is. And it plays for at least two minutes. This file is 11 minutes and seven seconds long. If I skip ahead too much, it seems to lose track. Yeah, so about I have about the first three minutes, but that's... All that's important for that video file because I'm taking apart a palette and it shows me taking apart the palette. Um, number two here, let's see, open with uh, VLC. It was having a real hard time recovering this file because it took a really long time. Now, yeah, it's 28 minutes. So, And there you go. You can see me building uh, the chicken coop, the, the foundation of it there. It's actually the, the floor that the chickens are going to run around on, but I'm getting it all ready so I can put the bottom on and if I go to the original let's see if it'll play I don't know if it will open with uh, VLC this one might play hey it does so number one was the worst it, it seems to be the most corrupt but it did back up all my files and they're good and if you know anything about mp4 files and you can look this up on the internet and research it um, they have to be perfect okay if they're not perfect they won't play all right, and so this program was able to take a corrupt MP4 file where the first part of it was good, and the last part of it's all screwed up, which means the whole thing wouldn't play. And it was able to put it back together and rebuild the descriptor or volume descriptor of the file, whatever it's called, so that it will play now. And so that is very important. And I have enough of the first file to where I can use it in my video project. I mean, Yes, I do have some other palettes I can take apart and show that. If I didn't, I would be in trouble because I don't want to put them back together and have to take them apart again for the video, you know, or I'd have to buy palettes or something. 
Um, but, you know, it's the thing. If you've got a project, you can't put the egg back in the shell, you know. If you're going to build a computer, you're going to build a motorbike, you're going to build a chicken coop, who wants to have to tear down the whole thing and start over to re-video your project? It's just insane. I mean, unless you're, you know, building multiple ones and, and you can video it multiple times. Now, I have some things to consider here because this SD card, this, this file is corrupt, okay? So the problem is with that being corrupt is that I don't know if it's going to do it again. I don't know if I can trust this SD card. And that could cost me money and things down the road. Now, it's brand spanking new, okay? My uncle and aunt, um, they got it for me for Christmas. But I have a square trade coverage on it. Okay, because it's like $33 or whatever, and that's a lot of money for me. And so um, I technically can uh, ship it into Square Trade and get it replaced. Should I do that? I don't know. You know, first what I could do is I could wipe the drive, check it with um, some software to see if it says that the SD card is okay. And um, it's just, you know, I'm dealing with really big files that are temperamental because they're MP4 files. And uh, I just don't know what to expect with this. Hopefully, um, <laughs> this is recording my audio because I, I really don't know if, it's, if, if the OBS is recording uh, the audio. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Um, otherwise, I'd have to start this project over. But, yeah, so this is the, um, this drive E is my, my... Uh, 200 or 128 gigabyte SD card, okay, class 10, and this is my uh, backup to my external hard drive here. And I used Stellar Data Recovery Professional, which is available for Mac and Windows. And the reason I use Stellar Data Recovery Professional, and I didn't mess with anything else, is because this is a Microsoft formatted SD card. It has to be to work in my professional camcorder. It will not recognize other formats, okay? And it's using the MP4, which I like MP4. My video editors like MP4. They also like AVI, um, but YouTube doesn't seem to like AVI. And so um, MP4 just, it renders faster for me off my camera anyway. MP4 off my camera renders faster. It works better in my video editor and everything when it works. And so it's really cool with this is as long as I have Windows and I have this Stellar Data Recovery Professional, if my MP4 files become corrupted, I should be able to run it through this. Now, think about this, okay? So Stellar Data Recovery Professional with taxes and everything is 85 bucks. Is this worth 85 bucks? It just paid for itself. I mean, think about it. I just spent a day shooting video, okay, where I was building a chicken coop, right? And if, uh, if I couldn't have recovered that data, I would have lost a day, a day's worth of work. And, you know, $100 a day is, is what a day's work is worth, right? So 85 bucks there to get that data back um, is definitely worth my time, definitely worth my money. Thankfully, I didn't have to pay for this program. I got it for free, you know, so I could try it out for you guys and let you know how it works. Normally, I would be trying to do this with um, what's the program uh, test disk in Linux and I tried it before and the MP file MP4 files were in the same state as they were on the SD card they were corrupt and so it didn't decorrupt the files it doesn't have the ability to do that you know with MP4 files it can give you back what it finds it's garbage in garbage out but this stellar data recovery professional just rebuilt uh, as far as I can tell, rebuilt the volume descriptor file, the MP4 file, and made the files playable again. It made America greater again. It must be from Donald Trump. And so, um, you know, this is a great deal. I did not plan this video, okay? I didn't plan for uh, these video files to be corrupted. It's not something I want. I mean, it's terrible. And it has me questioning a lot of things. But I will tell you, you're not supposed to fill these SD cards up, okay? Flash memory is supposed to be kept, you know, 20% full, 25% full. And I didn't do that. I thought, well, I'm just going to take one chip. I'm going to put this whole project on it, you know, and then I'll put another chip in. And that way I don't have to worry about losing the data. And I lost the data. That's what happened here. Thankfully, I had the Stellar Data Recovery Professional. Thankfully, God provided it to me. 
you know, by giving me favor with this company uh, before the crash happened. Because right now I'd be sitting there going, great, guess what? I got to go out in the snow tomorrow because it's snowing, it's cold. And I got to reshoot. I got to shoot a video of taking a pallet apart. Okay. Or whatever it was that I missed. And it's like I said, you put like, for example, you put a motorbike together. There are things that once you put them together, they're together. You know, like there's gaskets and stuff and things like that. And if I do it again, if I had to tear it apart to put it back together for the video, um, that would cost me money and it wouldn't be fun either. You know, maybe it's fun for you to redo your work just because your camera failed, but it's not fun for me. Okay. So anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Jesus bless you. Please click the link in the description of the video and, uh, consider giving us on the GoFundMe page to help me with my next project. I'm trying to find a sponsor or you guys to help me do something that does not appear to have been done before which is to build a dual AMD uh, Threadripper system with two NVIDIA uh, Titan RX graphics cards and use it for video editing, gaming, anything. I'm going to have solid state in it. I'm going to have RAID. I'm going to have everything I can pack into that thing, okay? Um, and we're going to be doing some fun experiments with that. It'll be loads of fun. Now, make sure... If you want this uh, Stellar Data Recovery, you use the links in the description of the video. And uh, like I said, it works on Mac or Windows depending on the version you get. You might want to get both of them. If, you, you know, if you're a professional video creator like me, maybe you use Mac. And if you use Mac and you have a Mac attack, you might want to have... Uh, the Mac version of this, you know. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call or call or email me directly with your service name and address and contact information like a telephone number and an email address. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son.